This is how you set up the uh, Apollo and Focusrite uh, to be in sync. I kind of call this one ADAT Inter Expansion, so to speak. So if you have, I have the Apollo Twin. The Apollo Twin has only two inputs. So, and enable to expand the Apollo Twin to with multiple input you either buy the direct mount Apollo X6, X8, or you can use any of the ADAT compatible unit. So I got the Apollo Twin, and I got the Scarlet 20i18. So this is how you set them up. So, so in a nutshell, you need to use a configuration on both Apollo console and focus right control. So let me fire this both of them. That's focus right control and Apollo. Uh, they call it a console. So here's the thing. Um, Apollo has only two default unison. This is all part of a expansion that I created. What you need to do is normally this is an internal which means it's reading the internal clock so enable to uh, configure this one to to uh, communicate with the focus right you have to make apollo the slave and this one the master so and i'm going to change this to adat it's going to click so what's, here's here's what's going to happen um, when you go to the console and you uh, not the console the focus right focus right control there's a configuration now when you say clock source is like a that if I change it watch it cannot communicate so you have to say I'm internal I'm the boss so I'm gonna be communicating with um, Apollo here so make sure the sample rate for some reason when I got this one here this was defaulted to 48 see what's happening it's blinking it's not communicating so the sample rate of 44 1 and 48 must communicate together there we go and if it start stops blinking and it's all conf configuring here okay so that's that now focus right control has input and output routing and this is this all output routing so what I would pay attention is that there's one two three four five six seven eight analog inputs now those are all routed to the regular line out one two or three four one two is basically your pseudo monitors and two is that they have a extra input or output in the, in the back there's 10 of those and if you go to pair there's pair one pair two pair three pair four pair five so that can be given with the headphone now what we have to pay attention is this here okay so when I go to a that outputs the analog Or the hardware input should be one and two and the second set which is a that output three and four this should be configured to hardware input four and three and four and so forth this one goes to analog hardware input five six hardware input seven eight okay now this is all configured in the focus right now we're going to go back to um, the console here. So there's setting. And the another window pops up, which looks like this. Okay. Now one and two is already uh, the actual internal input of the uh, Apollo console. So mic one or high Z, so, you know, they automatically detects the, the, 
what do you call it the the electric guitar that plugs in and the two is the regular one now three uh, it usually by default it says none because there's no input coming in here but when you click on this and say hey I want to configure this one to an ADAT and ADAT 1 okay see ADAT 1 and you do that the same thing to input number 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so if you look at the actual console mixer um, these are the actual unison input in Apollo these are up until here is from the Scarlet so you see that um, um, ADAT 1 is ADAT 1 but it's actually channel 3 so that's how I go and I'll, I won't go any further than this because I only have eight more input the trick is that when you open up your DAO like you know Logic Pro or Pro Tools whatever uh, you have to realize that input 3 is scarlet all this is a that one so you gotta do a little calculation one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I believe you can even custom yeah oh you can you can custom tell this one here um, maybe I should do that so you can just read it let, let me try this here so I'm gonna say uh, say f say focus right three FC three did it change? Uh, it does not change here. Huh? Uh, okay. So it, it kind of doesn't matter. The name doesn't matter. Or may them. So, um. Okay, I'm going to just make it this one back to A that one. I thought there was a. Okay, can't change that. Now let me just double click on this one here. Can I change this from here? Oh, I could change from here. So it's from focus, right? Oh, one. There we go. So if you label that accordingly, you can distinguish um, uh, what input is there. Okay. So that's how you configure uh, the thing. Uh, I might be a part two. Uh, remember even though all the inputs are from focus you can still assign the Q mix uh, which is uh, is this it the mix the, the align 3 4 and you can you can shoot them out to line 3 and 4 Oh, there we go. There's Q outputs, and then you assign the Q output to either mix or line three and four, and it will pop up as additional line out in your DAW. Okay. Okay. I hope that helps. Thank you.